Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this course as we take a look at Costa Rica. We're going to take a photographic safari and explore the country, but it's not just about seeing the country. It's going to be a chance to learn tons of techniques that you can use out in the field. This is a very diverse country with lots of challenging photographic situations, so you're going to see how to shoot in those conditions and how to make some great shots. But the cool thing here is that you can take this knowledge and apply it to lots of places. Costa Rica has a lot of unique features, but it shares a lot of things in common with other Central America and South American countries. So this is going to give you skills that you can use on your next trip. This course is organized geographically. Now, that may sound strange, but I just group things by how the country was, where we visited, and each situation is then broken down in the activities that we did there. I think this is going to be easier because you can now search for the type of photography that you're interested in. For example, when we go out into the rainforest and we are photographing animals, that's all grouped together versus when we go down a zip line. So let's take a look at how this course is actually structured. First up, we're going to talk a bit about getting ready for the trip. What gear do you need? What sort of things should you pack? What does this country hold? So you sort of know what Costa Rica is like and how you're going to get around the country. Then we'll start with Monte Verde, which is a very cool mountain town. Now this town is remote and the rental car companies, some of the tour places won't want to take you there because it's really rough going. You drive about 10 miles an hour to get there. But it is just filled with fantastic shooting opportunities, cloud forest, butterflies, hummingbirds, wonderful things. And I found that by bringing some of my close-up lenses, macro lenses, I'm able to get everything from beautiful butterflies to incredible boa constrictors. And this is just a wonderful shooting opportunity if you love nature. One of the other activities that I highly recommend you check out in Costa Rica is that of zip lining. Now, you need to be a bit of an adrenaline junkie. If you like roller coasters or fast cars, you're gonna like this, but you're gonna be strapped to a line with a safety harness, flying through the air, going upwards of 50 miles an hour, and great breathtaking views. But normal camera equipment is not gonna be safe to use and it will be blocked by the tour operators. But I'll show you what gear you can bring and how to get some fantastic point of view shots. Then we'll head on over to beachside town of Manuel Antonio. There's a great national park here. And let's face it, if you're gonna to go to a warm tropical location, you might as well get some beach time in. But this is gonna be a fun opportunity to do some shooting at the beach and in the ocean. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I like to get underwater shots or shots from the shore that really just capture the energy of the ocean. We'll take a look at some long exposure time lapse and opportunities to make beautiful images with the clouds stretched out using things like ND filters. Then we'll head on over to Arenal, which is a great region filled with a volcano and all sorts of wonderful landscape images. If you love nature, you want to see a rainforest, this is a great chance. We're going to explore this region fully and you're going to see the wonderful diversity. Some of the things you associate with Costa Rica, like chocolate and coffee, grow in abundance there. And if you're looking for a region that's filled with a lot of culture, this is a great place to visit. Personally, I love seeing the truly native side of a country, and I found that Arnold was a great place to do that. We'll then head on over to Caño Negro, and this is a river that we're going to float on down to really get an idea of some of the wildlife. While the forests are great, the river ecosystem here supports all sorts of animals. You're going to see things like crocodiles and alligators and monkeys and lizards and incredible vegetation that is truly amazing and impressive. If you love landscape and nature photography, this is a great stop. And we're going to talk about shooting situations that are tough. You're going to be out under the bright midday sun on most of these tours. How do you respond quickly? Spotting the wildlife because the boat is just going to keep on cruising. So they're not going to stop for photographs. You're going to have to be ready and know what to look for and what gear to bring so you can react very quickly to capture the shots. And then to close out my trip, I'm gonna stop in the capital city, San Jose. This is a great bustling metropolitan city with some wonderful old time architecture and historical landmarks. 
If you love street photography or architecture, this is gonna be a fantastic place for you to spend a day or two shooting. It's like most metropolitan cities, but of course it has its own culture and some great unique things that you're not gonna to wanna to miss, including some wonderful churches. Of course, it's not just enough to shoot great photos. There are some other areas that we're gonna focus on in this course. We'll close things out by showing you some in-field workflow so you keep your images safe, properly backing them up, strategies to use when you're in the field to make sure that you don't lose any shots and that when you get back home, all your photos make the trip. And I wanna share with you some of my favorite post-production techniques. There's gonna be some wonderful opportunities to make great photos. And of course, with modern photography software, you can make them just that much better. So I'm gonna share some of my favorite techniques that made some fantastic images that were just absolute keepers from this trip. I hope you're excited. So let's jump in and start to explore the country of Costa Rica.